great out of my game. I gotta start posting. And you know how I realized that too? Mm -hmm. That New York trip really let me know people are interested in what I do. Because there were so many people that watched my show. No, it was, it was all consistent. Wow. That means they love seeing what you do. How? How? So, happy Saturday. We are going to go and get my boyfriend's new car. Um, he doesn't want anything fancy, so he's going to be looking at this other car that the dealer recommended to him. But um, he's trying to, essentially, he's trying to save up for a Tesla. So he's been working towards that. That's like his, that's like his dream car. So he's trying to do all of that. Um, and then we've got some shopping to do today. I want to go to Trader Joe's. I want to go to possibly TJ Maxx because like I really, I really don't need it. But I really want a new purse. I'm in a 90s mood. Like I was even looking at Dooney and Burke purses the other day and I was just like, oh this like it's so cute like my, <laughs> my fave she don't like it she she don't like the uh Dooney and Burke purse she said <laughs> no I ain't gonna say that <laughs> and put her on the spot like that but yeah so we're gonna go up there and then we're gonna run some errands and things like that um last night we went to Bahama Breeze which was really really nice and yeah so we're gonna get ready to go we are at the dealership he said that he didn't want like a car that was like super over the top or anything because what he's trying to do is he's trying to save for his tesla and stuff so yeah he's that's like his dream car whereas mine is uh either a uh jeep sahara with matte black cognac interior or the mercedes-benz g-wagon um or a matte black challenger i'm obsessed with this matte black on cars it's very odd i don't know like because i mean my favorite color is mint green but like the matte black to me is just like oh my god and then like if i could get some like red halogens on there i don't even think that's legal here in michigan yeah i don't rem i don't remember it being legal well, I have to go to Trader Joe's today and I kind of want to go to Five Below. I want to go to, um, might want to go to TJ Maxx. We got to get the fur baby some stuff. So I'm going to get them some food, some treats, all that good stuff. Um, and yeah, just like. You know, have a good day if you wonder where my earrings are from they're from Shein and what I did was I, I kind of sprayed them with like uh, crystal clear so that way like they stay preserved for a little while and I always take them off like before I take a shower before I go to bed and everything and I put them in like a little jewelry dish by my bed and stuff just so that way like you know they don't tarnish or or anything um but yeah like it's so sunny outside but i swear to you it is literally like 24 degrees outside it's it's unreal it's absolutely unreal like literally yesterday it started to snow and that was so odd to me just because of the fact that like we hadn't we didn't get a warning like we didn't get any type of warning at all that it was about to snow or anything so i was mad as hell I, i'm not even gonna lie like I live in Michigan. I've lived in Michigan my whole life, but I'm still not over the snow. I'm like, I'm so done with it. 
and everything. There are so many people up here today. I never even realized how many people were like buying cars right now. And gas in Michigan, by the way, like I just saw a gas station that was at 409. What? Absolutely ridiculous. You're trying to find the cat food, huh? <laughs> I gotta put all of this away. I got the eucalyptus, y'all. I'm gonna put it in the shower. And I gotta clean out the fridge. So guys, uh, we went to Trader Joe's and we went to Myers. And let me show you what I got. So I got these vanilla meringues and they look so good. And I think they were only like three something, three or four something. And the ones that I get from TJ Maxx, if you guys follow me on TikTok and stuff, you know that those are like much smaller and they pretty much cost the exact same amount. So super excited about these. So oh, cool. let me show you. I didn't get these from Trader Joe's, but I did get these from uh, Target and they're called Skinny Dipped Almonds. And these are the dark cocoa, dark chocolate cocoa, excuse me. And then if you notice, like this is how most like chocolate covered almonds look, but like this one looks like this. Did I show them what you got too? Why not? Okay. No problem. Okay. So he got the oven ready breaded cod fillets. They look really good. But I think that you could fry these or pan sear these too. Oh, these are Alaskan too. Yeah. These will be good if you pan sear them because they'd be kind of crispy. Yeah, they were. He also got cod provençal. I think that's how you say that. I think I said that all wrong. And it says with well, ratatouille and rice. So this looks really good, but it's gonna be like, I think this is the more healthier version of it. The bell peppers. This is their organic uh, range-free chicken. And he's got like two of these. He's got dark chocolate covered marshmallows. So I've got kibbe. I got two boxes of these. Because um, I like putting uh, lemon on these, like once I cook them and stuff. Usually I make these in the oven. Um, like if I'm working, I'm more than sure I'm probably going to make them in the microwave because it says that you can make them in the microwave, but I don't know how that is. This is probably, <laughs> this is probably not a good idea, but I usually like to eat like kibbe nai. So the cooked kibbe is not really what I'm used to. Found the, the um, pine berries. So these are like the white strawberries. I'm excited to try these because I heard that these are way better than regular strawberries. If they aren't, I'm going to be very mad. <laughs> but these look super cute. They're so good, I heard. I'm really excited to try those. I had to get my raspberries, so got those. This was actually a deal because like, I think these were like $6.99 and usually like at the store, you guys know these are like $4.99 each or so. So at least where I'm at, like it's $4.99 each. So I found a five cheese Greek spiral. So I decided to get it. Um, and yeah, it's got a lot of cheese and stuff in it. So I'm probably gonna have to take an enzyme before I even eat this. Um, I think my mom would enjoy this. So I might have to save her a piece or so. I don't know if Tori would, she might. I'm gonna fold the bag because I like to keep the bag. good to keep the bags because like if you got people over and everything and you've got like you know like a, a dinner like a family dinner or something like that pack them right up in these and then they get to save them at their house got some israeli couscous those are super good got quite a few of the alaskan salmon fillets they're nice big hearty fillets and we can cut these up and like you know kind of divide it into like two weeks so we got four of these. This is just two, but they look really nice. They look like really good and healthy and meaty. I hate washing pots. Hey. Yeah, I can Don't say that. Don't say that. I'm, I'm gonna cut that out too. What? I, I probably shouldn't cut it out because it's true, but. <laughs> <laughs> 
got Noki. I was so mad though. I, I found a nice size corned beef at Trader Joe's, but me, I was like, mm, do I want to pay that much for that size corned beef? Because I think it was like eight or nine dollars a pound or something like that. It was a big size. Like I could literally probably feed my, you know, us and then like my family and stuff. But I was like, I can't foresee that. So then I was like, oh, I can probably find it cheaper at Meyer. We went to Meyer, couldn't find one at all. Some grapes, favorite fruit, lemons. At this, so I've been seeing a lot of people put this in their shower and apparently it's supposed to be very therapeutic and it's supposed to be good for your joints and your muscles and all of that good stuff. So I decided to try it. So I'm gonna rubber band this to the shower head and we will kind of do like a week test, a week or two test and see if we notice like a significant difference of how we feel and everything. Why am I doing this? But yeah, it smells really good. Like eucalyptus. I never thought the plant would smell like just as like vibrant as like the concentrated. I mean, that just makes more sense. Let me not be stupid. I got this white cheddar popcorn and it's also got like sunflower seed oil in it, which is really good. Got the glazed orange poppy seed scones. Got the um, like white corn tortillas. I think that um, because I bought some lamb and I'm gonna make like little lamb taco thingies with it, like made out of like sliced up like lamb shoulder. I think that would be really good. The best lemonade in the world. So if you guys don't know, Trader Joe's lemonade is, is, it is top tier. It is, it is all the way up here. Like it's delicious. It is delicious and nutritious. So I got two <laughs> um, cause we go through this like a lot, but this is their fresh fresh squeezed lemonade. We have to drink this by the, the 25th. A lot of people are like, oh my God, how am I gonna do that? Me, I'm over here like challenge accepted. Cause like literally this stuff is so good. Like you're gonna wanna get two like after your first try of a bottle. I had to get some leafy greens. So I usually like to, so funny thing is, is that a lot of people eat these cold and everything, which is good and everything for salads. But I like to also saute them sometimes. So I usually get the spring mix and this one has the, um, it says it's triple washed and it says mixed baby lettuces and greens. It looks like there's like arugula, some spinach. I don't know what that other one is. Uh, oh, it, yeah, baby lettuce, duh. Like, so yeah, I got that one. And then I got a whole bag of arugula cause I really like eating arugula with fish. Um, I like the peppery tastes. Is that is, I'm not like a food connoisseur. I just I, I know I like food, so yeah. Only reason why I'm stacking everything here is because I haven't cleaned out the fridge yet. I usually every single time like we go shopping, I clean out the fridge very thoroughly because I want to make sure that I get rid of expired things. I want to make sure like I clean like you know with Clorox in the fridge and everything. I am a weirdo. I, that's what I do. Also got the Calabrian chili tomato dumpling soup. I'm really interested in trying that. It says a tomato soup with dumplings and Calabrian chili pepper. I don't see dumplings in here. Maybe, I don't know. It says that there's dumplings in here. I don't see anything like at all, unless like their version of dumplings is something completely different from what I'm thinking of. Cause I'm thinking like, like almost like a chicken and dumpling dumplings. That's what I'm thinking of. But. I saw it, I was like, it looks really good. I love tomato soup type of things. So I think that this would kind of fall in that category and I want to give it a try. Now I saw this on my girl, uh, the Trader Joe's list, uh, her page and everything. And this is the Increta sauce. And it says a sweet, tangy, smoky flavored dipping sauce. And I think, honestly, I think like Jude should try this right now. Jude. Julian said it looks like peanut butter, but it tastes really good. I've never tried this before, but I've seen everybody try it. And then like, I saw it a couple times this past week when I was like out and about and stuff, but this is Ramune and it is a carbonated soft drink and it's melon flavored. Apparently this is like some type of, uh, forgive me. I want to say this is Japanese but I've never tried it before, but you're supposed to do something fancy with the top and everything like, I'm probably gonna hurt myself trying to open this, but like, yeah, it says product of Japan. <sighs> I thought I was going to have to apologize. Like story, so this 
place right here this was actually around the corner from our hotel in new york when we were in new york for a little bit and they make their own ice cream so i decided to try their earl gray tea ice cream and if everybody's questioning yes i can have a little bit of ice cream at a time i, I can't have a lot but then they have honeycomb ice cream and i'm excited to try them and that you can tell they're homemade because these started to melt really fast oh wow they're like fresh like they literally like they started in 2008 that's so wild got tampico if you know you know this is kind of like sunny d but it's not sunny d so i just i love it so i got some i want to make a comment before this starts because there's people that will literally say like where are the rest of your vegetables and stuff we, we have more vegetables in the fridge like i'm literally just buying to restock the stuff that we've used so i have that little bit and then i have like cucumbers and i have like what zucchini i have onions i have like whatever you can think of we eat vegetables i love steamed vegetables so don't come for me julian got these he always gets these we go through rice like crazy in this household so he got us a big bag he loves his haagen dazs so he gets this big ridiculous size um chocolate Haagen Dazs. He's one of those weird ones that likes chocolate ice cream. That's more teriyaki sauce. He gets these to snack on. I think it is so weird. I hope he cannot hear me because he literally has his AirPods in. But he gets these to snack on, and I'm just like, why? He got little main because he couldn't find his spicy ramen that he usually gets. Um, we probably should have went to H Mart. I, I don't know why I didn't think about. That. I got just a little TP. I don't know if it's getting more expensive in your area, but it's definitely getting expensive in ours and stuff. So got two bags of the Tyson chicken strips, um, the crispy chicken strips, excuse me, because um, th these are quick, they're easy to make. Um, like if we both are like working at home and we just want something quick to eat, this is usually like the go-to. Julian got himself some green Hawaiian punch. Julian also bought himself a whole chocolate cake. Like for, he only paid like eight bucks for this cake. Like he was like, it'll go great with the ice cream. I'm like, you're gonna be the only one eating that. I'm not eating that. I got lamb uh, shoulders. And these are the ones that I was talking to you guys about that I'm thinking about like making the little like tacos with, because then I can kind of like cut them up or shred them a little bit if I make them tender enough and then put them in the taco and stuff. I think that would be really good. Cause I've never tried that before, but I thought about it in my head. I was like, huh, that might be good. Like, especially with like some vegetables or like some cut up like tomatoes or a little lemon and, or some mint. Oh, so I'm gonna put all of this stuff away. I have to clean out the fridge. I cleaned out the freezer and I can show you guys. So I kind of wiped everything down and it's all organized and everything this is how i like it I, I want it to be nice and clean i don't want any little frozen patches anywhere whatever so i want to try this i want to do it now so okay how does this work so i have to peel the side down well it's already a failure oh Jesus. Okay, we're gonna keep the instructions because I don't know what to do. Okay, so I'm supposed to take the cap and push it down. What? Okay. I don't think I'm doing this right. Now I have to push this. Oh, I did it. Whoa, what is that? There's a little ball in there. Whoa, I have to show you. That's really good. Good. I don't know what the ball is though, but it makes this wild pop noise. I'm mind blown. Like, and this was only like $1.59. It's good. Ah! 
I'm so shocked. So shocked. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best to, you can hear my boyfriend playing Elden Ring. So I'm gonna try my best to put it in the shower. We'll see what happens. So, is this thorny? Oh, I was about to say like, why didn't nobody tell me that this had thorns on it? I was like, cause all I've ever used, I've never seen the eucalyptus plant. So this is literally like the once in a lifetime thing. I hope to put it around like, the shower head or underneath the shower head so i'm assuming i will point it like this it smells so good though and it fits the theme in here for our home or whatever i'm just trying to go ahead and do like a kind of farmhousey type of theme ish don't know like we'll, we'll see what happens but um I, I really don't want to do too much here just because of the fact that like we're probably going to move one day we gonna make it do what it do uh maybe oh, it's kind of cute it's kind of cute yeah julian's gonna think that's annoying though i heard he to tell oh the water's coming out don't don't rain on me no 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 there we go there we go, guys. That, that'll work, right? For right now. Yeah. I can still grab my stuff, but it's going to give us a little... I could have probably put it on that little back thing, but... Hmm. Boyfriend made my dinner. Looks so good. This one's got a clear one. I wonder why. That was way easier. I smell anything. It's got like these little like honeycomb. There's like honey in there. Hmm. You can't really see it. But... See that? this one. So it's the next day. I'm just, it's Monday, by the way. Um, I figured, like, I just continued this vlog because of the fact that it's my mental health day. And this was per the recommendation of my boss. So, I was just, like, right now, like, it feels so weird not to work and just, like, be in a room with my own thoughts, you know? Like, especially when you're used to, like, not calling off all the time. Like, when you're used to just, like, constantly working nonstop, 24-7 
what seven days well excuse me five days of the week um i try to make it my business not to work on the weekends um it's kind of hard like especially with like youtube and all of this stuff and everything and that's perfectly okay like but yeah so this is my mental health day like i don't really know how to explain it i feel naked i literally have like no earrings on like that's the thing that literally makes me feel odd and like naked so this right here is dandelion root tea so i've been having some issues with my um ovary and i actually have to go to the doctor and talk to them about it tomorrow and they might have to like do some tests and things like that you're in trouble yes you are um but um yeah so this has actually been soothing everything so i try my best to actually have it like a couple times out of the week i don't want to overdo it because obviously like too much tea is bad for your kidneys and stuff so this is what i've been doing it works the problem is it tastes like what i would imagine rabbit food to taste like and it's not very good it's not very pleasant um but you kind of get used to the taste like once you like keep drinking it and everything but uh, and i usually use two tea bags because i like my tea strong um usually some people say steep it longer but you have to be careful with certain teas because if you have a tea bag in there um, and it's a certain tea it can actually turn the tea bitter so usually I'll get like a I'm gonna go and get it but like I usually have a tea plate and then I take my tea bags out and I put them you know on the plate until I'm ready to add more like steaming hot water um, to it to steep like maybe for another cup or so but this will do for right now um, I just want to kind of like flush out my system and I just want to um, you know soothe that a little bit more yeah, i would lie to say like i'm like a little bit worried or not worried about this doctor's appointment because i am um we'll see what happens and i'll get into more details probably later why is it that like certain songs when they're slowed down they sound a lot better car smell we're riding in style yeah I need the charger give me the charger what is that I don't know but I gotta figure out how to that's your sunglass case oh nice that's what I have in my car so when I get some more rays here we are mm. is that what you were looking for that plus i gotta figure out how to turn the lights on there they are you got them perfect okay, so, so you can turn that off right now. okay how do you even turn that on um the these right here okay can you press that your thing even lights up, <laughs> what thing even lights up? <laughs> the um the thing you know the uh what do you call it the buttons the yeah. buttons they light up it's supposed to yeah, your other one didn't do that. I know, but any other car is supposed to do that. My car was not any other car. It was a piece of shit. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. 
This is fancy. We're cruising in style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is your average bottom of the barrel normal car. Bottom of the barrel. Why you make it sound so like bad? Like a like it's a not good car. Not like it's a good car. I know it is. That's, That's what I'm is. saying. It's a good car. Plus I got a camera too to where I can back up and I can I can see. Oh for real? Yeah. Oh my god, that's so fancy. I think like whenever you like save up for your Tesla, this whole thing is gonna be like a screen. Like a screen. No, like this part. Yeah, I know. This is a screen. This would be a screen for a Tesla. So Which is dope as hell. I can't wait. I know. Whoa. Chill out. What was he doing? <laughs> wait, but you got a you had a radio on the other one, didn't you? It didn't work. I, re I thought it worked. No, nope. my speakers don't work at all in the car. It was a piece. Of yeah, it was a complete piece of Like, nothing worked. Uh, don't say that. <laughs> that's mean. It's like your, that's your grandfather's car. I know, and I love it. I don't get copyright strike for this, but it's really good. And we're about to go see Batman too. And I heard this one was good. I heard Robert Pattinson is actually like a really good Batman. And um, apparently he, he given a lot of Batman, you know, all the Batmans before a run for their money. So I'm excited to see it. Um, I did hear that it drags a little bit at the beginning, but I mean, we all got to know the backstory and stuff. Like, even though we've known it, like, if you're like a DC fan or whatever, you, you already know the backstory, but. but yeah, it feels like a Friday night. Very weird. No, Edinburgh. Huh? Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. We're always on this side. Like, what? Well, yeah, but even at that, like, there's still people that are usually here. Right here. Oh, I guess I'll have a seat. This is like a partner chair. I can never get my hair to act right. I think that I was trying to prevent myself from getting my eyebrows done so much because I could just see the difference. I'm gonna have to get my eyebrows done this weekend. Ooh, ooh, that cat eye. Sharpen up to stab. I took a B12, I don't know why I'm so sleepy right now. And this is not the time. <laughs> These Mongolian barbecue, I had a tofu plate. Like tofu and vegetables because I was not in the meat eating mood today. But yeah, I need my lip oil. <laughs> I'm so sick of my You said nine and 10? We are literally the only ones here. Came from Civil Regime. Why do you look like that? My package came from Civil Regime. I just love their brands. 
see how it came out. Okay, okay, raised, raised prints. It's a pullover. We got the Squid Games thing happening here. And we got. This doesn't look like a. Well, I guess it's big enough. Look at how pretty. It's so nice. And this is gonna be so cute in the summer with some like biker shorts or something. Not the summer, like spring spring-ish it's getting to be spring-ish y'all see my nails they like popping off one by one i gotta get my nails done this weekend well, i feel like if i keep it in a certain spot like or if i like put it on top of this hamper before i like wash it because that's where i usually put my clothes i like stack them on top of my hamper and then once i'm ready to like wash like my new clothes this is only for my new clothes dirty clothes go into the dirty clothes bin every time like i get new clothes i make sure that i like wash it because like we don't know where it's been. It's just a fact. It's nothing personal to anybody. That's just simple hygiene. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think I'm gonna just hang it up for now and just separate it from my clean clothes. Cause like I really don't want the cats getting to it or because they've been in a they've been in a scratchy mood lately. If anybody has any like tips or anything, please let me know because like I don't know what else to do. They are jacking my couch up, y'all. Like for real. This one. It is my favorite of all of my hoodies. And this is like my Kill Bill hoodie. I got it from Urban Outfitters. And it actually has, it actually has the scenes from Kill Bill Volume 1 on the back. <sighs> Quentin Tarantino is my favorite director. So there we go. This one is too small. And I'm really sad about it. And I got it from, oh, it's something streetwear. I forgot what it was called. I wish it had a tag, it didn't, but it's like this fleece type of weird fit. And this is supposed to be an extra large. <laughs> and when I tell you like, I'm squished in here like a sausage, I'm squished in here like a sausage. Like, I think they were going by like Japan or China sizes, which can tend to be a little bit smaller than USA sizes. But this right here, this is my Detroit varsity jacket and it's got the tiger symbol patch thingy on there and it's really light so i can actually wear this to baseball games and not get too hot which is nice sorry all up in your face um i really want a did my hair right now um i really want a like art history kind of inspired hoodie because i think that would be super cute i think that would be really really cute and then we're trying to plan a trip like me the squad the guys all that stuff um because it's it's time to get up out of here because i'm i'm getting stir crazy <laughs> It looks like a little bit pinker than it did before. Is it? Oh, that could be sneaky. Uh-huh. It's almost like a pop. Yeah.
<laughs> Watch this car because he be in. Not us going to the same mall we came from yesterday night. I'm glad my purse put my wallet in my pocket. The yellow diamond I like. Oh. <laughs> I can do like a little um like a what I got when I went uh oh my camera's over there not over there <laughs> um I guess I can do like a little like shopping thing okay so we can go through this together um went to Partridge Creek with my mom so there's that but I got the lush reusable bag I like to get the reusable tote so when I go like shopping at the farmer's market and stuff. They are so cute in the window. Hang on. <laughs> they love when I pop the window open. So cute. Like getting the reusable totes for when I go to the farmer's market and stuff. Um, Cause I don't like, as much as we have bags here and we reuse them like all the time, I really don't like having, hi Poo Poo. Hi. Don't like, um, like the plastic bags and stuff. Like usually I try and get paper before plastic and stuff, but yeah. So I'm gonna go through my bag. I'll start off with the small stuff first. We'll get into that in just a second. Uh, so I went to Lush with my mom. Obviously that's where the tote bag was from. Um, I'm not used to my camera being that way. It's very weird. Um, so I got the scrubby. And I like using this in the shower. If you've never like seen this before, like usually when it warms up, the butter kind of melts off of there. And then my nails are like popping off left and right, but the butter like comes off of there. And then it reveals this kind of like sugary, like cocoa buttery type of scrub. And my legs love that thing, like absolutely love it. And I also got the cup of coffee. If you've been on my channel for a while, you guys know that this is one of my favorites. I use this on my face. You can also use it on your body. It's literally a coffee round mixture and you can use it on your face or your body. And it's like a rich, like coffee type of smell. So like, I definitely like using this in the morning um, because it really wakes you up. And then not to mention, like, I think it works really well on my face because the caffeine, the natural caffeine that's in coffee, I think that's what kind of gives you that little oomph. See, I'm wearing my hoodie. It's so cute. So cute. <laughs> um, I had to switch sides. I think like once this charges a bit, I might switch over. Hi, honey. How are you? Are you doing okay? Hello. What are you? All you see is a tail, just like, hi. Hi, mama. <laughs> Kasha, Ashkash. Ashkash, Habibiti. Habibiti. Yeah, my pretty girl. Pretty girl. <laughs> I guess we can just like go over what I got from Sephora. So there's a couple things that are small because like I wanted to try them. Um, I didn't want to get the bigger one just yet unless like I really am sure that I like it. 
So the first thing being, I got the um, Pharmacy Green Clean, and this is a cleansing balm. So I've been hearing a lot of people say like cleansing balms are a little bit better than using uh, makeup wipes. So I'm trying to stray away from the makeup wipes that I have and use more of something that's really going to get into my pores and get all of that makeup collectively off my face. So heard this one was really nice. It's paraben free, formaldehyde free, synthetic fragrance free, phthalate free, mineral oil free, and then cruelty free. We live for that. So definitely going to try this one out. I want to open it because I want to see what it looks like. I saw it online, but I really want to see the packaging. Pretty nice. Oh, I like this. So it comes with a little like spatula thingy. So that works out really nice. And I'm assuming that there's like papaya in here. That's why they have a picture of it on there. But I got this one. I heard this works really well. I think this is the actually the bigger version. I didn't see the smaller version there. So I just ended up getting this one. And I heard you only need a little bit. I got the Super Goop. Um, this one is the Unseen Sunscreen. This is, has SPF 40 in it. Every single time like I use some type of like SBF, SBF, SPF like product on my face or like some type of like sunscreen on my face. I think it's like too oily because all of a sudden my skin starts breaking out. A lot of my friends told me to try and use this one. So I'm gonna test it out. I got the small one for now. If I like it, then I'll get the, you know, the bigger size up, which I think is like close to like 50 bucks or something like that. But this one was only 20 and I wanna see. I'm, I'm assuming I only need a little bit, but oh, that's so cute. Look at that. That's adorable. If I need a little quick refresh, then I can pop this in my purse. And it says broad spectrum sunscreen SPF 40 PA++++ water and sweat resistant for 40 minutes. Okay. All right. It says clean chemical sunscreen actives for all skin types, natural finish, water and sweat resistant 40 minutes, oil free, non com com I don't know how you say that. I'm sorry commodogenic commodogenic i think reef safe ah look at that non-irritating no synthetic fragrance and vegan cruelty free this one i have the um milk makeup this is the hydro grip set refresh spray i've heard a lot of good things about this so i'm definitely going to give it a try um i really love their packaging it's very like it stands out which I love. And look at how like, I'm excited to use that. And then like, I, I kind of like showed this to my mom and everything. This one was 20 bucks. I do believe the bigger size bottle, which I honestly should have got the bigger bottle because I know for a fact I'm gonna like it because I tested this out before. And uh, the bigger bottle I think was only $16 more. It was like 36 bucks. But I really wanted to just, I, I wanted to test it on my face because I only played with it like in the store. I actually got, because I have i haven't gotten one of her products yet. Um, so I got the Fenty Beauty Matchstick and I got it in truffle um, just for contouring and things like that. Um, I always wanted one. I just never got one. I don't know why. I think it was mainly because I was going to Ulta all the time, but now that Fenty is in Ulta, like I'm definitely gonna be like getting it a lot more. Um, but this is how it looks. Just love her packaging. And then, yes, like just the contouring is just gonna be so nice. So there is that. Last but not least, um, I wanted to keep this in my purse. Um, and then on top of all that, like I haven't had this one before. So like, I want to like see if it grows on me now that I'm going back. I want that YSL Lieb scent that a lot of people call it Libra is not Lieb, is Lieb. It's still on my hoodie. <laughs> it smells so good. But this right here, this is the replica um, Maison Margiela. And this is Autumn Vibes. Like when I first put it on in the store, it had this smoky type of scent and then it chilled out for a bit and then it smelled like an autumn day. Like that's the best way I could describe it to you. So I wanna really see how it lasts throughout the day. I wanna see like 
if it grows like on me even more or if I start to hate it or something like that. So I usually get the smaller sizes before I actually get the big, you know, ones. Because if I really do like this one, I'm going back and I'm getting the big one. And this is a little spray bottle, so looks really cute. Really nice. I, I love how they um how they market this brand too. Like it pretty much like if you look at the actual like description of it, it says originally autumn vibes pro provenance and period it says montreal 2018 i love canada um fragrance description woody trail and red leaves and then it says style description memory in a fragrance so we'll see if it's memorable so excited to try all of these products i know i did not need more but i ended up getting it anyway and i got my detox island you want some i don't even know if you can have this boo Look, say hi. You see him? <laughs> My baby. My big baby. My big baby. He's my big baby. Did you tell him that you just turned seven? It was his birthday, February 28th. Then Kasha just turned three, November 14th. You guys can actually see all my little accessories now. This is light, this is so pretty. Oh, this is my garbage can because oh, I always have those like straws and stuff the straws they they literally like or not the straws but the straw wrappers they literally get all over like and I always put them right here so I got somewhere to put them now so ha -ha. and then I got my little rhinestone like cup holders yeah we in style forget about these two I don't think I really like those as much but my mom does We'll see how it goes. I can always take them off. And when we turn on the lights. <laughs> so I want to try the Pharmacy Green Clean um, Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm because I have makeup on right now and I just want to see how it's going to act. Um, and I've never tried a cleansing balm before, so like I'm actually really interested in it because a lot of my friends have told me like I should probably move over to this versus the you know cleansing wipes that I usually go to when I do want to wash my makeup off and stuff. Um, this one was $35. Um, but to be honest, though, it's going to last me a long time, which technically, like, that's saving a lot of money if you think about it in makeup wipe type prices and stuff. Um, yeah, so I like how this one comes with, like, a little, like, tet or it comes with a little scoop thing so it doesn't get up underneath your nails or anything um and now I don't know what I'm doing because I don't know how to get this off of here um oh is there a little it's a lifty look at how pretty that is I don't want to ruin it oh I hate things like this because then I have to ruin it with this thing but you know what I'm gonna try I heard this does get messy so yeah we're gonna kind of do a little uh, scoop de scoop de scoop. I don't even know how much I need. How to use gently massage on the dry skin for eye makeup removal. Apply to closed eyes, rinse with warm water or wipe off with damp washcloth. Okay, I'm gonna stick this right here because I need to grab a washcloth. And then we'll move on. One of them has a light, uh, cherry type of taste i can't stand cherry anything sorry if that disappoints anybody but cherry anything i think the only exception actually is cherry capri suns and cherry airheads also wait so before we even get started in this did you guys know that you were supposed to shake the airhead packet and then it like it, it gets bigger I did not know that. And I want to test that out one day. Try it. Oh, really? I just want to 
feel like that's all I need. Okay. Oh, wow. It smells really good. Okay, here we go. Yo, it came right off. Get out. Wait. Oh my God. What? Wait. It's messy, but it works. <gasps> oh, girl, what? Melting bomb girl. And it's really getting in there. Like my skin. Okay, so I thought my skin would feel like really, really greasy. It looks dirty because like obviously the makeup is coming off, but I thought it would feel greasy. It doesn't feel greasy. It feels like it's really getting in there and trying to get it clean it's the oh it's getting under my nails though that's the only thing <laughs> like but still like oh child especially right here it feels clean like get out of town especially with how fast it took my like mascara off and my eyeliner like my eyeliner and my mascara together usually take like two to three wipes I literally put it on there once and just went and it was like gone. It's gone. It's gone. Like best purchase I've ever made in my life. Oh, well, I'm never going to be using makeup wipes again. That's for sure. All up underneath my like nails that came off. It's gross. Yuck. But that's okay. I'm going to do this damp washcloth. Wow, that don't look like just makeup. <laughs> that looks nasty. Look at that. It came right off. <gasps> I'm like a raccoon, but it came off. What is this sorcery? Now I'm lost. Lost in the little cane bomb. What is that? Oh, they have a moisturizing cream. Ultra. Hydrating ceramide moisturizer. You guys know the drill. I really don't have to explain this part. Oh, let me turn that off. I wonder if they have a big size. They have to, right? Because this is like a sample pack. So I'm gonna squish it. It doesn't smell like anything. See you guys. Yeah, it doesn't smell like anything. At least not yet. I'm gonna put some here and here. Because this is definitely like one time use. This can't just be for multiple uses. Because I wouldn't leave this open. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh my god, there's so much there. What? No. Oh, she goes this way. Not the other way. That might be my new favorite. Nothing dry in sight. Pharmacy. So I'm going to put on my pajamas. I'm going to call it a night. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Sunday, Sunday.